They're going totally crazy. <laughs> they can't get enough of it. Oh, uh, Chris, you got something colorful in your hair. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> Hidden inside the beak of the lorikeet is a really cool creature power. The Rainbow Lorikeet, Australia's colorful parrot. Look at all these amazing colors. Greens, blues, purples, oranges, yellows, reds, every color under the rainbow. But I really like the blue heads and having lorikeets on your head. <laughs> hey, Martin, I think he likes being up there too. <laughs> are you trying to fix my hair? What are you doing? <laughs> Looks like it's your turn, bro. Okay. Hey, you're not gonna find anything to eat up there. When you're done combing Chris's hair, I got something you'd really like. So what are these birds so interested in? You're not gonna believe this. They drink nectar. Nectar from flowers. Whoa, nice move. Now, these nectar-loving lorikeets are actually pollinators. They help plants reproduce and make seeds. Nectar is produced in the plant's flowers, and when the lorikeet goes to lap it up, tiny bits of pollen attach to its face and beak. Then, when they move on to other flowers, that pollen is transferred, fertilizing that plant so it can produce seeds. Lorikeets love nectar. Oh, you can see them lapping it up right now. You can see their tongue works really fast, lapping up the nectar. Hey, remember when I told you these rainbow lorikeets have an amazing creature power inside of their beaks? Well, their tongues are like little paintbrushes, perfectly designed for lapping up nectar from flowers. Those fuzzy tips that make it seem like a paintbrush are called papillae. The papillae are at the end of the tongue and form a sort of U shape. You can see it when they stick out their tongues. Now, having lots of these bristle-like papillae gives the lorikeet the power to lap up more nectar. There's more surface to lick with and for the nectar to get stuck on. These tongues are another incredible creature power. Oh yeah, those tongues are amazing. But I love the beaks too. That bright orange color, yeah. look at those beautiful beaks. They can even use their beaks to open up containers with nectar. <laughs> <laughs> nice! <laughs> Their beaks are pretty strong, but as you can see, they're also very gentle and nimble. And check out how they brush their tongues on the roof of their beaks. Well, that's how they taste their food. They have over 300 taste buds scattered across their mouth, throat, and beak. <laughs> they're really noisy social birds. Listen to them squawking. Who knows what they're saying to each other? They're probably thinking, I don't know who these guys are, but they've got nectar. <laughs> yeah, they fly around in huge flocks together, making a lot of noise. These flocks can be anywhere from 50 birds to 1,000 birds. It's that strength in numbers that helps the lorikeets defend their food and their nest sites from competing species. And all these colors help keep them together because these color patterns, they can identify each other as rainbow lorikeets. <laughs> yeah. They really get along, but sometimes they have a little argument, a little fight about their position to get the pollen and the nectar. All right, all right, there's enough for everybody. Hey, 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 wait your turn. And you can feel their energy. They're such energetic birds, and they have to take in a lot of nectar. <laughs> they have to take in so much nectar and pollen every day that they can visit up to 700 flowers a day. Those paintbrush tongues. Gotta love them. Amazing, huh? You guys are cool. <laughs> the rainbow lorikeet, a unique and amazing bird. Like and subscribe for more animal videos.